every program director nowadays just look at this step to ck and you know the most of the program director giving interviews someone who had a good step good step to ck scores so never compromise on step to ck scores regardless of your research, whether if you are in a slow reader or slow yeah, like someone who had the slow speed like if it if you are so if you are you know thinking step to ck it could take around two years if 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 if, if, if the step to ck taking is two years for someone you should give the two years for step to ck because this is the most important exam of the us if you if you are really wanted to meet in like in the united states then you should have the step to ck like the good step to ck score now question arises what is the good step to ck score like more than 250 is, is always a good score but you know if if you have the 270 above 260 so above 260 like all the range above 260 is the same like the program director considering like more than 260 like if someone is 270 and someone the 275 and the 260 so the more than 260 all range is the same but about 250 is a good like if 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 someone had more than 250 step to ck and like the the good cv then most likely he'll get a chance by the by the first if the first mid cycle or I mean if not then it could be in the second mid cycle so step to ck to this course is like very 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 important so 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 the i again repeating like never compromise on your step to ck because I did the mistake, so I'm not want to talk about that one, but it could be, you know, helpful for you. So I can talk on that as well. Because I was, you know, in the hurry, I was applying for, you know, main cycle. So I have only three months to, to get done with S2 to CK. So I, I didn't get done with S2 to CK, like around the two and a half month. But, you know, my score is not that much good. Like that I was expecting, but it's like the average score, not in the bait score, but you know, step to CK important. So the long and short of it is like step to CK is the most important of like for you SML journey. So let's start, now let's start with the guidance. So like so like so like if you are like you know starting the us similar journey like you can you know think of like what is the you know the first step you can get done with that so the step one you know, after being the pass and fail system you should start with a step one because you know step like you know they unfortunately like for any reason if you have you know the bad score and so and the step one which doesn't matter because you know that now it is step one is just a pass and fail system so start with the step one you know the Let's say starting with the step one is a good, you know, the good strategy nowadays after being the pass and fail system. So start with the step one, it's just like if you are done with the step one, to just start the step to CK without any gap. But you know, it's a gap in a step, you know, the USML, USML journey is, is not a good thing. It's like you are drinking like the alcohol with smoking it's for your pancreas like that, huh? And you know, there are many, you know, the question arises when you just start with the USMD step to CK. So, like, you know, apart from the, you know, step to CK guidance, I would say you should have your, you know, the mentor or maybe, you know, the someone who guide throughout your journey. Because if you don't have a mentor or, you know, the someone who's not, you know, able to provide any guidance, then, you know, you'll take a more time because, you know, it's going, you're going through blindly, you know, if you have, you know, if, if someone who, someone who have the mentor and guides you like the like the, on the every part of your journey then this is a good thing because you can anticipate it like where you are going but if you don't have anyone to guide you or mentor you then you are going in the blind way which is you know the same which, which, which is you know the, you can go you know, the, reach your journey but it'll take more time as compared to someone who have the good mentor or you know someone who are you know providing like the, 
like the guidance on every part of your journey so now the, the so now we are talking about the resources of step to ck so the resources are very much important like if like if if you want to get a good score in step to ck then you, you should use a you know, good resources you know u word is, is universal it's everyone is using the u word but i also recommend you to start with the u word but you know the but the second thing that i would highly recommend you should do the ambos you know if someone asks me like which is you know the good question bank i would say the ambos because you know if like if you have the good knowledge or like if you have the advanced medicine knowledge then you would is a good thing but if if like if someone have you know the very weak knowledge or maybe you know the not a good at the concept or maybe in the medicine then you know doing you is a bit difficult but you know not in the, in the sense like if you you'll need a more time to understand the things because you know you word is is a, is a good source like it's a base source but you know it's a is a little bit complicated for someone who's you know they're not good at the you know, advanced medicine knowledge so i would highly recommend you should do the you know should do start with the u word but along with that you should do the embos like you should like if you are you know doing the 40 question of u word then you should do you the you start with the system wise you know the so people can you know the guide you like start with their random but you know the start in the system wise is a good thing you know so i would say start with the system wise like start with u word along with embos like if you are doing a 40 question of u word then you should do the, at least 20 question of the embos because you know if you are doing the embos uh, you'll get a you know the simpler concept like you know the you you'll get understand how you know think in a simple way because you know sup suppose if i am i i would I would tell you the example, like suppose in the U word, suppose if they are talking about the acute cholangitis, but they'll tell you the treatment, you they'll tell you the diagnosis, everything. But if you are doing the same thing from the embos, embos would say like what is you know the first line treatment, what is the first line you know the diagnosis, or you know the first uh, the the first stage you start with someone who have the acute cholangitis. Like if someone have you know then the embos tells you like what is the what is the diagnostic in you know, the taste for acute cholangitis? Suppose you start with the ultrasound and you can do the ERCP and you can do the, you know, the not ERCP, but it's the MRCP with MRI. So the ultrasound is a good, but you know, the, so there are three days for acute cholangitis. Like you start with the, the first thing, you know, the embos tells you like the first taste you start with the acute cholangitis, the ultrasound and then the confirmatory taste are two. One is the contrast CT skin, other is, you know, the MRCP with MRI. And the treatment for, you know, the, if, if you are, you know, looking at the embos, embos tells you like the, the treatment of uh, uh, acute cholangitis is the ERCP. If you are unable to perform ERCP, then you should do the ultrasound guided drainage of the fluid in the bile duct. If not, then you should do, do with the, you know, the a percutaneous drainage. So the drainage word is important, but if you are, you know, uh, looking at the counterpart, and the like in the u word but you were tell you know the treatment but they you know i don't think don't think so they you know the it's a teach you and this is simpler and you know the sequence of mine so that the embos this is what this is all about you know the importance of embos along with the u word i don't think so i don't you know tell you don't do the u word i am highly recommend you to the u word along with embos as well and the others also you should do like you should are you may like the bnb lecture are good but you know this is optional so these are all the optional tool but in you know, the google searching and the youtube is a good thing like if you are doing the you would or impose anything but you should do the you know like the the thing that you are not able to understand then you should search on the google and the youtube so these are the op optional sources, but the U word and the MBOs are you know, the, the top two most important for step to CK. And then comes the time period, like you should, you know, the, so when you are doing this step to CK, you should have in your mind, like when you are applying for the mid cycle, like whether in 2023 or maybe 24, but you should, you know, keep in your mind like that, like what time you should go to the step to CK. So you are, you, you are able to apply for that mid cycle, like, like the, the cycle that you are thinking about. So the time period, so the average time period for step to CK, like the good 
time period for us to, to see is 10 to 12 months is so good if your goal is more than 250 like if your goal is to 70 then may it's in the take some more time like if like the one and a half year maybe the 12 months is enough for someone like who have the good knowledge and you know the good critical logical thinking but the average time period is 10 to 12 months so how to use the resources i already talked about how to use the elbows and the word but uh like with the embos you should use the use the u word with the embos but the discussion is the key like a good study partner like someone who has you know the better knowledge is compared to use is always a good idea but you know someone who had you know the the, the same knowledge is compared to you is compared to use is always a good thing but you know that so someone who's you know that i don't you know criticizing someone who you know bade at the knowledge but you know the for your you know study purpose you know that since someone who have this had this in the same law knowledge as you or someone who have the better knowledge is always you know the good thing like the good thing for a study partner like uh, someone in the ask me you know they always ask what is it like the how many questions someone you know do per day so at least 40 question is good you know the below 40 is a it's a i would say it's a slow speed but you know it's all about you know this is individuals because you know someone has the good knowledge and the good thinking or good understanding of the u word or step one knowledge but you know the 40 is a is good but the 30 to 40 question is a good thing but you know the maximum is 80 to 100 and more than 100 is always a, those are not a good thing because you can you know loss uh, you you can you know loss some like maybe the good knowledge because you know simply like if you are doing more than 100 questions you know, then the retaining thing could be the problem but you know people do it the 100 as well more than 100 as well if but this is for only you know that it wants a student or a student who have you know the good knowledge and the assessment so assessment i would highly recommend you to do all the nbmes you know all the offline nbmes during your step to cku word like first you start with after the 40 percent and the second maybe after 50 or 70 and the third maybe at the end of first pass of the u word and then you should do like a uh do the usaw1 at the uh, maybe it is 50 percent of your second pass uh, second round of the u word or maybe you can do after like right after you know the finishing the first round of u word so this is all about you know assessment but assessment are important because you know that tells you like what are the important topic of the you like the exams you know the so the i would say like someone who had a good score or someone who had the average the difference between them is 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 is, is, uh, is a straightforward like if you are you know the study like everyone is study but if you should you should have you know the the critical thinking like uh beside you know the study like if you are like you are like suppose you exam in two month and uh, then you should you know the know the important topics of the exams so like you know, like how do you know the important topics so you can do like you perform you know you should do the nbme and the usaw1 and 2 you should focus on that topic from the usaw1 and 2 like uh, like you know the, in the usaw1 2 and all the nbme so these are the you know the important topics so these are the, you know the the topic that are that are you know asking in the in BMEs or USAW one and two these are always you know the the important topic for the exam and when to book your exam so always book your exam two months before because you should have you know the clear date in front of you because so you can you know focus more you should be a more focused and you know you should be you know more punctual or whatever you know so that you should you know book at least two months before your exam so and the things that you do it you know the last two weeks of your exams you know in the last two weeks don't do the extra new things because you will be uh get distracted or you get you know there's too much stress because you know they're retaining the new things during the stress is very difficult 
Um, so you should, you know, focus on the notes that you are you already make during your your the journey, like during the the time the time when you are doing your the U word or maybe the embossed. You should make your you know your personal notes so you can use the one note. One note app is the best you know note for uh, the application for someone to make a notes. And then you should, so you should keep repeating your notes. I would highly recommend don't do anything new during that period of time because that period is you know, a, a, a very stressful. You cannot remember anything new. So just repeating the things that you already make uh, notes of that. And along with that, you should do the ECG and murmur, you know, the remembering the ECG, you know, the interpreting the ECG is a little difficult for, for the med, med student because, you know, it's very, you know, so complicated and things. You should, you know, also make notes of different, you know, different uh, files of ECG during your um your journey like during the period at the time when you are doing your u word so you should have you know the different file of ecg so you should do the ecg at you know during the last two weeks of your exam along with that you should hear the murmur or you know so understanding the murmur during the last week or maybe i don't i don't you know highly emphasize you should do the last week but you should you know during you know the hard hear the murmur on the YouTube or maybe different sources during your journey as well. But you should, you know, repeating, uh, you know, the hear it again during the last two, period, last two weeks of your exams. And you should, you know, do the bio status, bio state like during the uh, last two weeks of your exam. And you should, you know, repeat the formulas, like the formulas, you know, so the, is a volatile thing so you should repeat the bios formula during that period of time as well and the ethics uh, i would i would highly recommend you know to you know to work on the ethics because this is you know the the difference point someone you know have the good score or not you know if you have the good ethics knowledge then this is always you know this is a plus point because you know the most not the most but you know 70 to 80 percent of the students are weaker the ethics that's why you know the scoring criteria are you know, important for so this is very important for you to have in you know, the good knowledge of ethics this is the most important for someone who is you know wanted to get a high score like to 70 or to 60 if you are really wanted to you know wants to get a good score like to 60 or to 70 then you should be the master of ethics so you know the people you know the get to know the ethics is very hard in the exam at the, at the last you know period of the time you should you know start working on it takes the day when you start your step one it's like this to step to seek a journey so it takes is, is, is a very important and then in the last two weeks of that is a at the exam time you should repeat the chart and the table and the u word and rainbows and you should you know diagnostic criteria like that like all the you know the criteria of you know the pulmonary embolism the pharyngitis the heart failure diagnosis or you know the cataplexy the everything like the, not the cataplexy but the narcolepsy you know all the, every disease has a diagnostic criteria so you should know and the, the, the most important thing as well like you're the uh, and the last two weeks uh, of the exam is like what is the in you know, the first line treatment what is the first line diagnostic test for a specific disease so this is important because you know step to seek they are asked like what is the next base step you know the 50 percent or maybe the 40 percent of your exam will ask like what is the next base step so you should know know the sequence so sequence in the step to ck and step three are important but it's not for you know for step one so for step to ck and for step three is the most important thing is like the sequence of your management so please work on that one but this is all about your know, step to ck guidance if you need like any help or if you want me to make any like any video so please do subscribe my channel and make a comment below so i can you know make a new video on that topic as well